Hello and welcome in week 5. Load monitoring methods in health specific fitness and sports specific fitness training. Lecture 1 would cover load monitoring methods in health specific fitness training. Objective of lecture 1 is to recall what are health specific fitness variables, to recall what are health specific fitness training loads and to know loading monitoring methods for cardio training. The outcome of lecture 1 is to use load monitoring methods in cardio training. Let's recall what are health specific fitness HSF variables. These are cardio fitness, muscular strength fitness, muscular endurance fitness and flexibility fitness. In lecture 1, we will cover the load monitoring methods specifically for cardio fitness. Let's recall by understanding what is training load. So training load is a combination of frequency, intensity and volume. Throughout this lecture, throughout this week, we will be emphasizing on how do you monitor the intensity part of the training load for various fitness variables. When it comes to cardio training, cardio fitness improvements, intensity is expressed as percent HRR or percent HR max, RPE or percent VO2 max. Now when you undergo a cardio training program, what are the various methods where you would monitor these loads? Recollecting the week 3 concepts of load training, load monitoring is very important so that you know for a given training session the load is a stimulation load or a retaining load. Without monitoring the load, you won't be in a situation to understand or confirm whether you are undergoing a stimulation training or a retaining training or a detraining training. Now let's understand what loading methods you can use for a cardio training routine. One of the method is heart rate monitoring method where you perform a cardio training or cardio workout using a heart rate monitor device. Let's take an example. A sample example excess prescription is mentioned as performing a cardio training, cardio workout in a continuous manner. The type of stimulation is continuous training. You perform one exercise for 20 repetition at 50 to 75 percent of HRR intensity. Now that's the prescription given to you or that's the prescription you design for yourself. Now how do you monitor this intensity 50 to 75 percent of HRR? This is done using a heart rate monitor device. For that you use a Carmenian formula which helps you to calculate the target heart rate at 50% of HRR and 75% of HRR. Kalmanian formula is your heart rate reserve multiplied by intensity at which you want to perform your cardio training plus your resting heart rate. Using this formula, 50% of HRR comes to be 129 beats per minute and 75% of HRR comes to be 156 beats per minute. So for a given prescription, you perform 20 minutes of cardio training, cardio workout with an heart rate ranging from 129 beats per minute to 156 beats per minute. Now let's say the exercise that you prescribe is a treadmill walk or treadmill jog. So you adjust the treadmill speed till the head HR heart rate reaches 129 beats per minute. You maintain that speed for 20 minutes because the prescription for the given workout routine is 20 minutes of volume. In case the heart rate increases beyond 145 beats per minute which is the prescribed 65% of HRR then you drop the treadmill speed. That's how you use the heart rate device monitor to control the load that is intensity of the cardio training as well as to monitor the load for a cardio workout. So in summary, to maintain a progressive overload and avoid overtraining, load needs to be monitored. Cardio training load can be monitored using a heart rate monitor device. While using a cardio machine, 
one can control the machine speed using the heart rate monitor device to train at a prescribed cardio intensity rather than you choose a random speed of the treadmill at using your own perception of exertion you use a very objective load for a given workout routine using the heart rate monitor method thank you